here in this house, and now I'm reading, and now I'm praying, and now I'm fasting, and I'm contacting her, but my heart, my soul still had a tie on her. I still had a soul tie. I still had a connection to her. I'm still worried about if she's being true to me or not. Two weeks 
later, I tried to contact that man. Went to look for him. Two weeks after God had spoke to me. Amen. Amen. And almost got myself in some serious, 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 serious trouble. Go on, look for him. See, this big thing blew up. This big thing happened. I'm not even going to go into that. But this big thing happened. And I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. But I went back to God one more time. But this time I went to him in 2 Chronicles, the seventh chapter. I went to him in 7 and 14. And I said, God, I come to you uh -huh. with a humble heart. Yeah. Yes. I'm seeking your face. Uh -huh. I'm calling upon you. Yeah. I came to him in prayer and said, God, I'm sorry you told me. I asked you for an answer. You gave me an answer. And I turned around and went back. Amen. I'm sorry, God. Jesus. I said, Amen. God, I asked this one thing of you. The love, and I don't know if it was love or not. I just know it was tied up. I was tied up and tied up. <laughs> oh. I knew love to God. I said, God, the love I had for her, I pray that you a hundred, hundred times multiply, God. Yeah. Let my love will be for you. Yeah. I said, let my love for you overshadow what I felt for her. Amen. You know what? He did it. Amen. This is a true thing. Look, look, this is a true thing. I go to the barber shop about a month or two ago, switch the barber shop, you know, go to the barber shop. I'm in the guy's chair, and he asks me what I want, so he spins me around and tells me what I want. And guess who picture I see on the mirror? <laughs>
His time is rough. He said, but because of your persistence, uh -huh. 